Hi, for today's turn down, this nice little avionics box from Thales Avionics. It was uh, quite cheap on eBay and uh, was quite attractive to me, so I did uh, take it. We will start with a little game. You have to notice four or five uh, interesting and unusual things about this box. So, did you notice interesting things? Uh, first, it looks quite modern. There is no dead code so far, but you can see this sticker here. It is just uh, not an aluminum plate as regularly, but just a sticker. And we have a barcode. The NATO stock number gave no information at all on the web on this reference number either but it seems modern maybe we will find the dead code inside I guess it should be around 2000 or something like this uh, what else this uh, cadmium plating warning it is the first time I have it on a device I do not know exactly what it is about and where the cadmium is supposed to be next thing here are the uh, Thales security stickers which are actually holograms and uh, look very much like the holograms you get on the on uh, supposedly good quality Chinese products. Quite uh, unusual. Uh, next, uh, the screws. You can see we have here posi drive screws. I believe it is the first time I see them onto avionics. Usually you have Philips but not PosiDrive and as it seems to be a quite expensive piece of equipment it should be much nicer to have uh, Allen screws on here so it looks look cooler I saw. I might actually retrofit it with uh, Allen screws I have enough in stock of new screws. I am not sure, but uh, it is an idea I have. It should be much nicer to look at. So next thing, uh, yes, a front and back access cover. So we will find out what they are for, each one. Nice paint also on this uh, box. And last thing you have to notice, the connectors. So first on this side they are quite unusual with a coarse uh, rectangular thread here for the plugs and uh, the, connect the contacts are very deep into the hull of the connector. Not unusual design but here it is even better. So on this connector which is maybe the power supply input as there is not a lot of contacts you can see they are even further away so they are protected at least the contacts but look at this one guys this connector looks weird doesn't it we do not have golden contacts in here we have some kind of uh, silver contacts with a little black dot in the middle what do you think it is uh, we will start now the tear down by removing the top cover. Okay, thanks to the magic of video editing, the screws are off already. And this cover should just lift off. Okay, so you can see quite nice uh, machined aluminium cover with even still the milling tool. Max here, very light, and we have a nice circuit board with mostly power components. It seems big uh, multi-layer uh, MSCC capacitors here, 
pantalons and apparently uh, it is a flat flex rigid combination of circuit board with uh, an overboard ear dress power connector with a few decoupling capacitors. So I will undo the screws for this board. And I should be able to lift it and show you what we have at the other side. Yes, so as I said, I was suspecting this to be a power supply board. And actually, yes, big uh, DC to DC converters, big electrolytic capacitors of unknown brand because they are glued on the PCB, EPCOS filter, this uh, other thing here, nice gold plated uh, PCB also for our power supply PCB, but uh, no dead code so far, serial number is repeated here, you can see. But I do not see any uh, dead code. Maybe here 01.03. Uh, we will find out. Maybe I up on the other side of the, the box because this side is obviously just uh, your power supply. As you can see, uh, quite a nice uh, machine box, this thing. And just a few wires going to the other side so I will reassemble this side as you can see the uh, flex rigid circuit printed circuit assembly here quite uh, nice okay so it does not give a lot of uh, clue of uh, what uh, we have inside this box oh, maybe I did forgot to mention the box is called the it's set elect unit so it must be connected to the pilot's it sets and given the compactness i believe it is uh, for a jet fighter okay i will put back this side together and we will have a look at the other side so i'm back the other side uh, same design you can see uh, machined cover circuit board attached with screws and here we have a bunch of uh, little uh, coax cables connected with this uh, mobile phone style coax connectors you find them uh, in mobile phones to connect the antenna and again uh, same design of uh, flex rigid construction with another rigid part for the connectors. So this is quite interesting. I will undo this because I believe it will be more or less in the way sooner or later. I will also undo this uh, little coax connectors I believe or maybe, or maybe it will not be necessary but it will be necessary to undo the screws. So why I undo the scores? Still no uh, dead code inf information. Uh, really, the serial number is written everywhere. Here I swing the cover. Here again. So they were quite serious about uh, serial numbering this thing. Some uh, more information here, but nothing uh, really useful, it seems. Quite uh, very pretty uh, box, at least, as you can see. Seems super expensive. So I believe in here I have a connector to animate in order to be able to lift, yes. 
this circuit board all the way out. So just one second. Okay. So what do we have here? As I said, just back side of the circuit board with little coax wires. We look like this with other parts. Here, uh, nice electronics actually. Burbron uh, seven legs devices OPI five seven eight F. Not sure what they are all about, but uh, might be expensive. I will research them. Uh, little Teledyne shielded relay. Analog devices and an Altera ASX processor FPGA, something like this. More Altera here. So it looks like we might have an to digital converters or something like this. Do I have any dead code? This ship is Hong Kong. Ah, I have 1988 here, it seems. But uh, yes, 88. Really, not a lot of dead calls, but it might be 1988. And so, bonus points if you find in which, which other tier down I have samples of this kind of connectors. And here you can see the back uh, side of the connector board. The uh, wires going from the su power supply side with uh, capacitive uh, pass through, it seems. But did you notice the last interesting thing here? It is all about this wired connector. Look at this. We do not have wires here. It looks like we have little pipes and actually they are optical fibers. I believe it is the first time ever I have fiber optics in uh, avionics part. And they are connected here to this little board with uh, apparently you have four of them and the devices are written D4, D3 so probably we have here Four laser diodes, yes. I will not undo this board because it should require to undo everything because it is connected here at the back by another uh, flex. But we have obviously four little uh, retainers connecting this piece of fiber optics to the... Can I undo this screw at least? Uh, will undo the wall assembly it seems so I believe it is uh, made in one single part of this thing but really a nice uh, surprise to find fiber optics inside an aircraft part I was not expecting this and I am actually quite happy okay so it is all, so it should be a box to convert uh, signals from the headsets into uh, digital data to bring into uh, communication systems or something like this. Headset digitizer, I guess, should be the best uh, way to describe it. So actually, on this board, I see we have two diodes and two are called IC, so we might have uh, laser, photo di laser diodes and laser uh, receivers, so it must be a bidirectional link and two of them. And as a coincidence, we have here two similar connectors, so is it uh, 
to connect uh, both uh, pilot and copilot uh, headset to the system. It is really a lot of contacts for headsets, by the way, but must be what it is. Maybe all these contacts are not uh, actually in use, not sure. You can see here some interesting uh, bulge wires they did add over the existing link, flex link, interesting. And the signals uh, to feed this uh, fiber optics components come actually through this little coax. So they take it very seriously. They do not throw the signals from the, through the flex here, but through a dedicated coax. Quite an interesting device. And probably formerly super expensive. Okay, as you can see the machining work is just insane on this box. So really a nice surprise this one and a very, very nice addition to my collection. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.